To install the Curity Identity Server on a Kubernetes cluster using the official Helm chart, you need to first add the Curity repository to Helm. When this is done, let's make sure that repository is up to date. Assuming you have a Kubernetes cluster running, you're now ready to install the Curity Identity Server. Here, the latest tag is used, but you can specify another version if needed. An important thing is to provide a password for the admin user. This command also enables the admin UI, as in the next chapter you will be configuring the server from the UI. The cluster needs some time to start. You can monitor the progress with the kubectl get pods command. In the ready column, you can see that the Curity Identity Server hasn't started yet on neither of the pods. Okay, now everything's up and running. But one more thing you need to do is to forward the admin UI port so you can access it from your browser. Take the name of the admin pod from the output of the previous command and forward the port 6749. This is the default admin UI port. If you would like to find the admin pod name programmatically, you can use this fancy command to have the pod name set in an environment variable. Now you can navigate to the admin UI, which uses the path slash admin. And once you accept the self-issued certificates, you can see the admin login screen.